Simon, we've spoken about it for what, three weeks now, but we needed to put performance on from the fans, and we did just that. What was your assessment on what I felt was a really good display? Yeah, um, I thought we started quite well first half. We played some good stuff. Just sort of the game became a little bit open for me. Um, so we spoke at half time about just keeping our distances right, going off a good base. And I think once we'd done that, we you know we we created chances, we scored our goals. You know, brilliant that we picked the right option when we when we broke at the end. We spoke about that yesterday in a, in a meeting. So good to see they're listening and taking that on board. Um, two good finishes. You know, H's first goal in 300 years. Um, so that's <laughs> nice. And, and Woody's obviously, you know, in there nice and composed on his right foot as well and a, and a lovely finish. And, you know, if Mike could open his eyes, then you know, we could have won more comfortably. But yeah, listen, really happy with, with the performance in the end and a clean sheet, which I think we, uh, it's our first one at home since I've been here. So really pleased with that. Let's talk about Harry's goal, because in some ways it couldn't have been a more fitting moment for him to get his first Barnet goal, an academy graduate of the club, on the first night that the fans returned to the hive. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, I said to him, uh, about time he scored, you know, he could have scored Saturday. He made a fantastic save, but a really good ball. And I was pleased for Femis there, you know. You know, I'm on it, I mean, constantly, you know, as he'll probably tell you. Um, just about giving himself that depth to make the right decision. Um, it's a little bit too forward in his thinking at times. So just for him to come and drop off and get the depth and then find the, the pass forward which was really pleased for him. Uh, and obviously Woody's quality uh, around the corner was a great ball and you know, he took his time H to get his, <laughs> under, uh, his first goal. Uh, I didn't think he was going to get his finish off, but yeah, nice finish. So really pleased for everyone there. Do you think the first goal almost increased our confidence? Because the fans, of course, were then up off of their feet getting behind us. And that second goal just sort of oozed confidence with Sam's turn before. <laughs> Tommy did an amazing job to get it through to Woody, mate. Yeah. No mistake. Yeah, and I thought, uh, in all honesty, I said to Dave at half time, you know, I don't think it's going to be loads in this. First goal is huge. You know, and I think when we when we scored it, I thought we was, there was only one team going to win it. Um, you know, and I thought, to be fair, Sam Skefferton, I thought was excellent. I took him off um, just before the end, so I, I thought he deserved his own clap tonight because I thought his energy levels were fantastic and he'd done, he done a great job for his team. The defence stood strong again this evening. I can't really recall Parksy making a, a big save. That must be really pleasing as well, but on home turf, we've, we've not really given Maidenhead too much of a sniff. No, no, and again, you know, I thought we was a little bit deep first half and we allowed ourselves to get pinned. Um, second half, we was a little bit braver and, and a little bit uh, more aggressive. It allowed us to be more aggressive and, you know, I thought we was pretty comfortable in the end. Um, the fans got right behind you, right from the off. I thought the, the atmosphere was really good and, of course, they really enjoyed the second half. Just a word for them because I thought they were fantastic. Yeah, listen, you know, I thought we started bright and they responded to that. Um, and second half when we got a second goal that you know they were really cheering the boys on and, and that's all we can ask and as I said you know without the fans it's nothing and it's really pleasing to put on a, uh, a winning performance for them on their visit back so you know one to go uh, we hope to give them some more good news before the end of the season and a good performance and, and that's what we'll be aiming to do. We've always spoken about the small numbers. You look at the subs we made this evening in being, being able to bring on Josh, who's back fit. And Michael brings quality and, of course, Xander did well when he came on. That must have been pleasing for you to have three subs who came on and looked to make an impact. Yeah, listen, um, and I've got to choose three subs, you know. We, <laughs> we actually had five on the bench today, which is nice. Um, yeah, but listen, you know, that's, and that's what it's about. I mean, having Woody back is a big plus for us because he's not alone. Um, you know, and it's still unfortunate that I have to leave a lone player out every week. Um, so that's difficult. But, you know, Xander's come and done well recently uh, when he's come on. Obviously getting Woody back today and, and obviously Josh is a, a big plus to have him back. On to Saturday now. The champions are in town. You went and watched them last Sunday. It was an impressive performance from yep. them. A nice way to finish the season against quality opposition and, and one for the fans to look forward to. Absolutely, you know, I took my uh, chief scout with me uh, to the game. Um, so, yeah, listen, we understand. I just said to the boys in there, you know, what a better way to finish the season, you know, against the champions and rightly so, in my opinion. Uh, they've been the best team when I've seen them. You know, everything this league needs, they do it well. Uh, so it's a fantastic challenge to us. And, you know, I just said to the boys in there, 
you know, great way to sign off, big test, refresh, you know, and be ready to go hard because something make you go hard and that's a great learning curve for us and, and it's a good one to see where we are. That ovation that all the players got and all the staff going over at the end with the fans, that must be a, a real motivation going into the last game of the season that we, that we can sign off on a high as a club after what's been a challenging season, but things certainly seem to be in optimistic mood this evening with the supporters back in the ground. Yeah, listen, hopefully, and it's a brilliant for, to have the supporters back and to win a game is fantastic. You know, I'm, I'm fully aware, you know, I'm not privy to what's gone on here before I got here, but, you know, we haven't given them a lot to shout about, you know. I just said to the boys in there, I thought they deserved the win tonight, and in all honesty, I think we should have had another two wins at least since I've been here, uh, and I've been disappointed that we never got them. So to get a win in front of our fans, and again, home form for me, you know, my second win, at home, the first clean sheet at home, do it in front of the fans is fantastic and to send them home happy, you know, and looking forward to something for a change is, is what we're all about. So credit to them and uh, we hope to do the same on Saturday.